three years after uncovering the high-tech trashing of Asia, BAN's investigative team crosses a shaky bridge over the digital divide to witness increasing amounts of electronic wastes arriving in Africa. I will guess about 500 containers of computers are loaded monthly. In each of the consignments, uh, depending on how it is loaded, we, we have uh, an average of about uh, 800 pieces. With respect to the raging debate about the digital divide, it's, it's a compelling uh, issue. Even though there is widespread poverty, there is widespread uh, hunger, it's equally a compelling issue because out there the world is not waiting for you. Honestly speaking, I would say 75% of these items are not usable. This whole pile here, is, they tell us, is going to be burnt very soon to reduce the volume of it. It's routine that this happens. They'll light it on fire and it'll burn down into the swamp here. Uh, we see computers, carcasses here. We see television carcasses from all over the world, from Germany, from USA, from Japan. And this is their final resting place here in Lagos, Nigeria. There's two stories to be told here. One is blatant dumping, people loading up containers full of stuff they know is not useful. It's going to end up as waste, it's going to be burned, it's going to be dumped in swamps here in Lagos or in other cities in Africa. That has got to stop. Well, Ben did send us all those hard drives which you see here and asked us if we could find something on them and that was basically our role. For the companies it's very risky. They cannot track back what data they are uh, distributing all over the world. If the third world countries have been allowed as a dumping ground for items that are full of toxicity, then we are not helping the world. If we are talking of a global village, a common future, a common destiny for all the peoples of the world, it is only fair and morally right to be sure that all sides uh, are safe at the end of the day. Over here.